gotta show you something. Come on. Yeah, what do you think about that? <laughs> had a very strict is this great policy so we got together and somebody would bring forth an idea and right away um, is it good if the three of us didn't agree that the idea is great we would dump it right away we wouldn't try to salvage it and turn it into something else uh, we would just shed all of the garbage all the, the things that we didn't think were perfect and only kept the really good memorable stuff a place when no one has heard of me they strip away all my rights in a city made of lights and mountains rolling into the sea. Country must get on your knees. We trust you with the house keys. We just packed the car with all of our essential equipment, anything we needed to play and also to record our ideas. In Matt's little car. <laughs> packed it into my tiny, uh, comical little Mr. Bean car and then drove out to, uh, to this cottage near Georgian Bay and just yeah. sat there for a, a whole week and did nothing but write music. Yeah, and we wrote for an album, whereas the other two yeah. records we kind of just wrote some songs and then put them together for the album. This one we went in to make a whole album. <laughs> I thought it was a really interesting way to do it. I mean, I've never written a full album on my own. I mean, I've written songs, but never actual in a full album. And um, does everybody write lyrics, or is it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we split we, it as yeah. evenly as we could, and also we, we're very involved in each other's lyric writing. So we we have a hard time saying this is this person's song or this is that person's song. Imagine you had to type by kissing the keyboard. I just said hello.
everything that we did, we did because we felt like it had to be done that way. Nothing is a compromise on this record, which is why we recorded in, in many different studios because that studio was better for the drums and this studio was better for the vocals. And um, that's why we, we rented a lot of equipment because we felt like we need this guitar. That's the sound we're going for. Okay. No H's. That was that was good. Okay, I think you're done. This time around, a conscious decision that I think helped the sound is we separated ourselves because we wore many hats for this project. Uh, we we were the producers and we were the writers and we were the lyricists. When we were writing the music, we took every measure we could to separate ourselves and not think about production. So it, it was very tempting to be like, oh, we could put a cool distortion effect on this. But then it sort of takes away from the writing process and you're compensating with effects. So we would only write. Yeah. That's all Again, we did that is it good? Is it a good song? <laughs> These are the tape machines we recorded the original Watcher stuff on. Yeah, tape. Digital tape. It was really fun. My favorite part of those recording sessions was when we had to rewind the tape. <laughs> hmm. We're so spoiled in this modern recording age. No!